Can somebody please help me out on um, how many personalities Abigail got stuck in her head? Does anybody got a number? Anybody? Because now we didn't make this new person. She's supposed to be the gatekeeper, and I'm confused on what the hell, where the hell she been at this whole entire time and how Abigail lost her goddamn mind because... Abigail, you get deeper and deeper each episode, huh? Now you got a damn gatekeeper. Now she trying to protect um the Gabby one from staffing because he see that he won't step well. I guess he won't either Gabby or Steph. I mean, Gabby or Abigail, whichever one of them minds he won't. Staffing, you're playing a very dangerous game. I don't see this ending well for you. I already don't like you. I didn't like your ass on General Hospital. I don't like your ass on him. So, if you happen to end up somewhere dead, cause you then sat there and took advantage, full advantage of Abigail, which I think you gonna end up doing. It. So, if you turn on taking full advantage of Abigail like that, even though I'm not a big fan of her. If you do do, if you do end up taking advantage of that woman and her vulnerable time now, you get whatever coming to you. Even if that means you be dead on the floor, you deserve it. Cause I see what you're doing. You trying to plant evidence on somebody else. Cause Abigail that lost her damn mind and then killed Andre. I commend you for that. But you planted the evidence on the wrong damn person. Not only that, now you sitting up here trying to play pick and pry on um, her multiple personalities she got. I'm pretty sure they're about four, five, six. I don't know how many Abigail got in there. I only knew one. Apparently there's more. Okay. So Abigail got the split personality disorder. I didn't know that. Well, yeah, I didn't know that. And Stephen, I still don't know what your end game is. I know you want Abigail. You've been having a crush on her ever since you met her. I guess you're going to take advantage of her in her time of need and help. Like, I'm still not understanding how Chad still ain't caught on yet. It's amazing to me how you said you was going to the office one time. You said, oh, that was a long time ago. Well, I lost time. But I, I guess I lapsed in time then. Like, Chad, you're not seeing the warning signs. None of them. How she disappearing. How the hell you miss her coming out of Stephanie's room when y'all all on the same flow? Like, I'm not understanding how ain't nobody catching on about Abigail activities and how y'all all sitting in one house and y'all and scratching y'all heads, Vivian, your scary ass. I would have been expe um, expected you to have been told by now. At least tell somebody, like, tell Chad, like, your wife then lost, your, lost her mind and my son trying to go after your wife, so you might want to go ahead and go and get her and go on and take her and do what you need to do with her so she can get better. Like... Soon or later, it ain't, it, Abigail and Stephen going to put on Stephen some mess. Stephen meaning more mess than Abigail, and it's not mm, like, at this point, Stephen, what are you trying to prove? What are you doing? You're not helping her at all. You're not a doctor. You're not trained to do this type of work. You just assuming and guessing off of a few pages you read in the, um, in the um, book that you thinking you know everything now, but you don't really know everything about you trying to say, like... Stephen, give it up and leave it to the professionals, would you? Because you only going to make shit worse for her. And I'm done with it. I, I, I'm i done at this point. Like, I'm just waiting for the shit to hit the fan. That shit meaning hit Stephen in the face. Because sooner or later, it's going to happen. And... I can only say I told you so, cause you played with fire, double the fire, and that fire didn't warn your ass the first time it shot out. I guess you got to keep on letting it shoot out at you, huh? Till it melt your face off. Stephanie, you better leave that alone, cause 
Stephen, you better go ahead and leave this alone. If I was you, I wouldn't play with that fire. You playing with fire, You, I guess you trying to get what you want, meaning Abigail. Is it going to be worth it in the end for you? I don't know. I guess you ought to tell us, was it really worth it messing around with this woman, knowing she losing her mind and knowing she having split personalities, that you getting what you want, trying to protect her, but you're not really helping her at all. You only making shit ten times... I'm done with it. I I I I I don't know what to say about it, but I, I I'm done with it. I I, I can't no more. Trash. At this point, you a damn fool. Clearly, you can see this girl getting set up. Take your hatred out for Gabby, and you want her to pay to get you a quick, um, easy win and an easy paycheck. Take all that out of the equation. This girl is clearly getting set up, and I find it funny and hilarious that you thinking you gonna get a conviction. It's gonna be the same Nick shit all over again, and I and I won't say this time. I won't bust out laughing at you or be on the ground rolling that you really thought you was gonna get away with it the second time. You gonna end up losing your damn license being foolish, like. Anybody with a brain can say she clearly getting set up. How she end up with the evidence one minute and the next time y'all get an anonymous tip, you run on this anonymous tip. Besides going running behind that person that sent that get that sent you the anonymous tip, you gonna run behind Gabby. You catch up with the evidence of her hand and her daughter bag. Like, and you okay with this? You literally okay with this? You must be a sad, sick little woman. The one to arrest somebody with a child like that. She done lost time with her child the first time. And you okay with making her um you okay with her making her lose more time with her child? All because you got a hatred towards this girl. You wanna see her fry, and you okay with plenty of evidence being planted on her just to get what you want. It's a damn shame. You went and did all them hours in school, took the bar all that. You done did this to get where you at now, and you need fucking help. You need help just to, just to get a conviction and win the case. Trash, what does this say about your career? You lost against Sammy. You lost against Gabby the first time. You're going this time around. This going to be a loss. Because sooner or later, Gabby going to, I mean, Abigail going to crack in. Sooner or later, it's going to come out the real truth. So you enjoy sitting there smiling, having fun, poking at that girl all you want to, thinking you got a slam dunk. And that show you just why I don't trust Justin and why he couldn't. Be a lawyer for this damn wall for me. Justin, you couldn't find no top of way. I mean, anything at all to try to get Gabby out of this. Not only did she lose her freedom, she got to spend a night in a holding cell. You couldn't do nothing at all. Like tell the judge clearly she being set up. And then all of a sudden this anonymous tipping. Like Justin, I would expect you, Mr. Ivory, to do something. I mean something. Come on now, Justin, now. I mean, you can find no type of good lawyer law or some good maneuver to swipe the rug on the on the trash leg and make her bust her ass. I mean, you can do nothing. I mean, literally nothing at all. Nothing. To get this girl out of, to get this girl from sending the night in jail. Nothing. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's why I don't trust you as a lawyer, because you show some type of lawyer, I got to spend a night in jail because you my lawyer. That's your punishment right there, Gabby, for making Justin be your lawyer. Hey, I bring back Bell. At least I get. At least I don't like Bell, but I. But at least I can say that she handled the job and she get the job done. Hell, I prefer Bell, and you know how much I love her. I'm just saying, how come I can't stand Bell, but Bell do better work than Justin do? I find that funny and, ir and ironic, and I'm just going to run with that, and I'm going to leave and move the hell along. Like, oh, yeah. Uh, 
<laughs> Gab and Nice try with the hole. Oh, you can at least do that for me. I know you slept with my boyfriend. You can at least help me out or whatever. Yeah, her sleeping with your man wasn't gonna help you. I know she was about to see like she was about to help you with this um case to help you get rid of the evidence to call Chad or whatever. Yeah, line is stone cold when it come to you. She done slept with two of your mans. Now she get there a red shoe. Oh, honey, she on cloud 10. Lonnie on cloud 10, and I don't see her coming down no time soon. So, yeah, if you thought Lonnie was going to have a back, um, a backbone or fuck or sympathy for you, meaning she want a red shoe or she was going to help you cover up the evidence. Nah, Lonnie ain't that type of girl. Maybe you was her home. Home dog, maybe she might have would have helped you cover it up or whatever. Nope, ain't gonna happen like that. Gabby, nice try with the whole using what you had against her head, but it didn't help you nowhere and it didn't get you nowhere. So nice try though, but Gabby though, but I probably would have seen that for another day and thought that Spady hit her ass in the face with it. That wasn't the time. She said, you knowing about me sleeping with your boyfriend versus me losing my job. I'm pregnant. Um, I got a baby to raise. Oh, my job more important than your, than you and what you going through now. Basically, she weighed her option and didn't even much take too long to figure out which one was best for her. And she ran with it, arresting you. Brady and Eve. <laughs> Brady, you a damn fool. I was wondering which one of you sick motherfuckers was gonna come out with a who was gonna come out with it the fastest. Cause y'all brother in law and sister in law talking about marrying each other. Y'all connected to, um, what's that, Teresa, y'all brother-in-law and sister-in-law, you little sick, nasty things, you, I'm glad at least Eve do got a conscience, Brady willing thinking he gonna get what he want out of the whole situation, meaning thinking he gonna pull a wool over Eve, um, eyes, thinking he gonna get all her assets and then kick her out, Brady, you really thought Eve was that dumb, huh? You really thought she was dumb and stupid, and you was going to pull the wool over her. You must have had a drink or something, because you had balls of steel. You must have had you a couple of drinks or something, because you getting all ready to go on, getting the, um, having Justin go down there to help you through the paperwork, getting the um, marriage license and all that. You going through all this damn work for what, Brady? What? Why, why did you do it, Brady? And then Eve just shot your ass up pretty and told you I wouldn't marry you. You was the last man on this earth. Eve ain't stupid. And the fact that you thought she was going to fall for this scam showed me how foolish you really is, Brady. And I hope you embarrassing, oh, Lord. I just thought about it. Embarrassed bit of Brady. Oh, God damn. I got to hear the endless rants. The endless rants. Him being bitter, him drinking, talking about some, he know how to control it, not only that, being an asshole. <sighs> I just thought about that. Now that we, now that she didn't got that off her chest, now we got to deal with the bitter, the bitter Betty, him being um, pressed, him drinking himself to death, him and his tired ass insults. Oh, Eve, why did you do this in front of a room full of people? Now we got to deal with Brady and his insecurities. Now, thanks a lot, Eve. It might be funny, but damn. Now we got to deal with the bullshit and the fallout for you embarrassing him. Yet, yet once again, you didn't embarrass him. Nicole didn't embarrass him. And now you didn't embarrass him in front of his, his friends, family, and relatives. And now, like I say, is Brady, this is why you don't do shit for Victor. You do shit because you want to do it, not because Victor told you he was going that you, um, not that Victor told you you can do it and dangling a little position over your head that he still ain't gave you yet. Next time you'll learn your damn lesson and tell Victor to do it his damn self and he want it done to tell him to do it his goddamn self. Don't be bothering you having you doing this shit. Now you didn't got plumbed and bare. Thanks to Victor. Now don't you feel foolish. Anyways, though, y'all, that was the episode.
Don't forget. Oh, hold on. JJ and Eli almost walked out of here without saying that. Eli. Eli. I have nothing for you. Nothing at all. Nothing. I'm glad JJ called your ass out. JJ said, you show us in a lot of questions about my um about our child. Did she make you the god daddy or the godfather or something? Mm -hmm. You thought you were going to sit there and pull the wool over JJ eyes, thinking you were going to ask all these half a million questions about his child, where he's supposedly supposed to be his child, but it ain't his child. You thought you were going to sit there and question this man about lining her health, the baby health, and how the baby doing, and what nobody going to get suspicious or look at your ass sideways asking you, why the fuck are you asking me these types of questions? You really thought you was going to get away with it, did you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got the wrong one. You better be better out going talking to Lonnie about that shit, because JJ don't play that. Thinking you finna sit there and ask that man a half a million questions about a baby that he think is his and think he ain't going to be wandering or saying, now wait a minute now, you asking me questions that I should know about or the godfather or the godparents. Why are you asking me these questions again? Because now you confusing me. I'm glad JJ said that. Oh, you must be the godfather because you asking these questions. And these questions starting to smell a little funny. And I don't want to answer them. Mm -hmm. Go play with um Liney. Liney will tell you everything you need to know and more. Why don't you go ask her, go ask her ass some questions then. Since you want to drill JJ. And think JJ for to sit there and take it. Now I'm done. Anyway, so y'all, that was the episode. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Enjoy the rest of y'all night and have a good weekend. Bye.